Hello YouTube, this is John and welcome to my channel CryptoPix. Today we're going to do my PTMG analysis on my very favorite coin, 0x. So what is PTMG? This is the way I analyze a coin based on the project idea, the problems that the coin will solve, the potential for generating revenue, their, one of the most important aspects of their team, how they're going to be marketing their market cap, and the short slash long term goals of the project. So 0x, ZRX, or zero exchange is what they refer to in their white paper, is actually a super, super confusing coin. It took me a while to actually understand research and just, just, just to understand everything that they're trying to do here. So their project idea. 0x is open and non-rent seeking protocol, basically free, that facilitates trustless, low friction exchange of Ethereum based assets. Developers can use 0x as a platform to build exchange applications on top of their JavaScript library for interacting with their protocol. For end users like you and I, 0x will be the infrastructure of a, a wide variety of user facing applications, basically their, their portal, which on their website they have an example. It's a decentralized application that facilitates trustless trading of Ethereum based tokens between known counterparties. To summarize it up, 0x just wants to be used by other projects as the back end transaction protocol. Uh, I have a video here that I'm actually going to play for you that actually one of their advisors describes 0x a little bit more. So um, I'm very excited about uh, 0x. Um, 0x is a um, decentralized exchange in order book that lives in an Ethereum smart contract. Um, so the idea is like my former employer Coinbase runs a cryptocurrency exchange, right? But you have to go to the centralized exchange, um, you know, sign up, create an account. Um, there are some restrictions on like where you're based in the world, all sorts of other things like that. And there's just like high friction. Um, and then you have to, you know, deposit money and, um, you know, trade on a traditional centralized exchange. And then there's also historically big counterparty risk here, like Mt. Gox, which was hacked. A um, lot of other exchanges, I won't name names, have been hacked. Um, and so it's actually sort of dangerous to hold uh, your funds on a centralized exchange. Um, in some cases, I think Coinbase is is the best in the world at security. Um, but when I, when I look at 0x, it lives in a smart contract. So it allows you to basically um, instantaneously trade between Ethereum and tokens or tokens for other tokens uh, natively in this Ethereum smart contract. Um, and because this is Ethereum smart contract is, is just like a piece of software, it, the 0x um, exchange capability can be built into any application built on Ethereum. So like if you're using um, some casino game that takes specific types of tokens, um, um, in Ethereum and you like run out of those tokens, you could natively within the app use the 0x protocol to exchange Ether for tokens. It should take one block, which in Ethereum is 17 seconds. You now have your new set of tokens and you can trade more um, or you know play on this casino game or something. Um, so this idea of 0x and their exchange protocol being actually baked into every dApp or, or decentralized app that's built on the Ethereum protocol is really amazing to me. So it, it just will facilitate this extremely fluid exchange of token for token. And the ability to go from Ether to other token and token uh, to another token is going to become very, very fluid. Um, it's gonna be baked into the user experience and it's gonna take like 17 seconds without needing to sign up for a centralized service or um, take on any of the counterparty risk that you take on holding your funds on a centralized exchange. Um, so zero X, I'm I'm very excited about. So that was that was Olaf Carlson We, which I will bring up later on in the video. He's one of their advisors from Coinbase. I hope he was able to kind of give you a little bit better idea of what zero X is doing. What problems is zero X trying to solve? First is trust. Centralized exchanges have a huge issues with these. These exchanges are vulnerable to hackers being shut down by the government and security failures. He gives a few examples like Mt. Gox that just affected the cryptocurrency space tremendously and this lack of ex 
last of trust led to decentralized exchanges such as Ether Delta or Oasis Dex. Now, decentralized exchanges have issues because they're slow, expensive, they're inoperable with other exchanges, and they're illiquid, which they're not easily convertible to cash, which most of the time, that's why we use like Coinbase. So decentralized exchanges rely entirely on block time and incurs the network transaction fees for every single transaction. Basically, Zero X solved these problems by creating a standard protocol of orders being relayed off the blockchain and only having them brought back onto the blockchain when the orders need to be settled. It's a protocol that facilitates peer-to-peer -peer exchanges on the Ethereum blockchain. So this is the process that the Zero X protocol plans to go through. So the maker creates and signs the order to exchange token A for token B. Basically, this I think this little diagram kind of sums it up. Then uh, the maker broadcasts the order off the blockchain through the relayer. The taker intercepts and approves, then submits uh, the decentralized exchange contract to access their balance of token B. The decentralized exchange processes the, the token exchange and distributes tokens between the two parties. So again, like I said, this is a super confusing coin. <laughs> if you're still kind of confused, just keep doing your research. Maybe go over that YouTube video that I that I posted and just, just really concentrate and listen to what he's saying. So the potential for gen generating revenue, Zero X plans to generate it based off of relayers or relays and uh, the exchange of tokens. A relayer is any party that hosts an off-chain order book and or broadcasts orders as a service. Basically, it's the standard gas fee for processing the network. So now on to the Zero X team, one of the most important aspects of this analysis, in my opinion, when looking at a coin. So first is their CEO and co-founder, Will Warren. Uh, on his LinkedIn, he says he was a technical advisor to basic attention token for three months. Other than that, there's nothing super impressive. The next is their CTO and co-founder, Amir Bendeli. Basically, he, he seems to have been a trader for about four years. Next is their senior engineer, Fabio Berger, was a software engineer for about two years before Zero X and the co-founder of two companies beforehand. Now their star, as you can see, I have a little star by his picture, Alex, Alex Vu, I'm not sure how to say his last name. He worked as a partner lead for Google for almost two years and the marketplace manager at Amazon for five months. Also the customer account manager at General Mills for two years. So this is definitely their superstar of the team. Their designer, Ben Burns, was a product designer at Airtable for about two years and interned at Apple for five months. I originally was going to give him a, a star status because of that internship at Apple, but I ended up not just because it was an internship and he didn't actually get employed there. Next is their software engineer, Leonard Log Logvinov, I'm not sure, was a software engineer for about 11 months before coming to Zero X and had an internship for a little over a year at Cora. Their final team member is the developer relations manager, Philippe. He, he does not have a LinkedIn. Uh, I'm not sure why, actually. Now to the second uh, part two of their team, the advisors. This is where, in my opinion, they really shine. So first is Fred Ursam uh, is definitely a superstar advisor. He's the co-founder of Coinbase, and before that was a trader at Goldman Sachs. Uh, and then the guy we just saw the interview with, Olaf Carlson, we was the head of risk and product manager at uh, Coinbase for three and a half years, uh, another superstar. And then the final superstar is Linda Sear. Uh, she was the product manager at Coinbase for three and a half years. So they have three people from Coinbase, superstars here, or is huge positive in my opinion. Now they're marketing. Uh, they're super active on Twitter and they're super active on their blog. So if you check out their Twitter, like I said, it, it's super active three hours ago, six hours ago. Like they are just constantly tweeting, tweeting different updates. Uh, which is always super super good to see super exciting to see their blogs they have a bunch of blogs posted uh, just on the 28th yeah 2 26th the 12th like they're 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 constantly updating this which is great to see you're, you're seeing that they're actually working very hard on their product updating us now the market cap for zero x it's around 100 110 million right now 
Uh, they have about 500 million circulating supply, 1 billion total supply. That's not super amazing, but again, market cap is more important to me. A lot of people get stuck on the supply. Currently, they're trading around 22 cents, around 5,500 sats. It keeps fluctuating from like 5,000 to 5,500. 5, I'm looking to buy under 6,000 stats, which is 25 around 25 cents. Uh, I'll definitely jump in if it hits 5,000 stats. Like that's there's no question about that. And I couldn't really find any significant competition since it's not a decentralized exchange. Everybody seems to keep on comparing them to like Kyber Network and and all these other decentralized exchanges. They're not a decentralized exchange. I can't stress that enough. They're a protocol, not a dang exchange. So their short-term and long-term goals, uh, I'm going off the roadmap, which uh, they're also posting a lot of this on their Twitter. 2017, the Q4, they have the hackathon, the, as you can see, the external development program, relayer of legal framework, their website we redesign. I actually like their website, so I'm kind of interested to see how they're going to redesign that. Um, their portal updates, API version one will be finalized. Looks like their JavaScript version one will be released. And it's just a bunch more things going on, just super exciting. Currently, they have nine independent dev teams building decentralized exchanges on top of Xerox protocol, which again, super exciting. One of the biggest ones, uh, Ethernix, their Ethernix uh, integration, that one's gonna be huge. That one is most promising in my, my opinion. If I butchered that name, my bad. 2018, their governance, uh, 2018 is a little bit slower. Uh, I'm sure this will get updated when they get a better idea what's going to happen. Reusable layer UI components, as you can see, their version 2 deployed on the mainnet. Governance white paper, Trader Explorer version 1 release. So this token, this team just has so much going on for them. This is so undervalued in my opinion. This, the potential is just so high. So in summary, Although uh, Xerox can, can be a bit confusing, and trust me, this is one of the hardest coins I've had to research just because just, just understanding what they're trying to do was such a task, but they have the potential to be something great. They already have nine partners lined up with Aragon, District Zero X, the Ephenix integration. That's just to name a few. Like I said, there's I think currently there's nine. Once this protocol becomes popular, this the sky is definitely the limit. I fully expect zero X to reach a market cap far beyond where they are now, uh, in the billions. So invest wisely, do your own research. So that pretty much sums up my analysis of zero X. I uh, I'm super new to this analysis thing that I'm trying to do so any feedback is greatly appreciated if you can sub on the bottom right of the screen there's a the little button I would super appreciate that uh, comment like and subscribe thank you and see you next time